This is John McQuay with 8541 Tactical, and I'm here today to talk to you about a new product that we got in from Bradley Cheek Rests. This is the Bradley B24 Cheek Rest. Now, a lot of rifles, when we throw telescopic sights on the front of them, have a little bit of a problem. The comb is too low to get a proper cheek weld and position your eye in the correct position to utilize a telescopic sight. As we get into higher magnification scopes and larger diameter objectives, that raises that scope up a little bit more and then it compounds the problem back here. Uh, my first experience with the problem was back with the Marine Corps M40A1 sniper rifle. And in that case, what we generally do is we take an old piece of GI isomat and grab some rigorous tape and we would just build the comb up on the rifle until our eyes in the proper position. Well, this stuff degrades over time. It's a pain in the butt because you had to cut out notches to get your bolt through. You had problems trying to get your cleaning rod through. So it caused all kinds of issues. Um, and in general, it just, it was a makeshift solution. Well, a little bit further on down the line, you run into things like these. Uh, this is an Eagle stock pack here. Guys like to strap these on, gives you a little bit of extra storage and gives you some loops. But again, it only builds up the comb just a little bit. We usually end up um, sticking more pieces of foam underneath it and it can shift around after some time and it's a little bit squishy and it just, it doesn't feel like a regular rifle stock. Well, the Bradley B24 cheek piece takes care of this. It's two pieces of Kydex, which is a thermoplastic that's molded to shape to fit your stock. And it fit most of the stocks we tried it on. It'll work on H&S Precision stocks. This is a Bell & Carlson a light tactical stock. Um, depending upon how much rise you need off the comb, uh, it may work better on some stocks and not so much on others. But the benefit of the Bradley cheek rest is that you have this hard kydex material. It's not flexing. When you press your cheek down on there, you're getting a nice consistent position every time. So when you relax your neck and you let your face rest on the comb, it's not compressing, it's not shifting to one side or the other. It really holds on there nice and firmly. Uh, it has a top piece of kydex that's formed over and held onto a bottom piece of kydex by six rivets on here. And it's really a, a nice heavy duty construction. I don't see any problems here on it. I mean, you can really bang on it and it's not going anywhere, it's not flexing. Um, it's held on to the stock by three different Velcro loops here. And underneath the actual kydex pieces is this uh, nice non-slip material. So once you Velcro it onto the stock, it's not gonna slide around, it's not going anywhere, it's held on there. But you've still got some air gaps in here, so water and that gets underneath it, it can still dry off. However, I would suggest if you get your rifle soaking wet, when you break it down to clean it, go ahead and pull the cheek piece off. Now, speaking of cleaning, uh, if you want, you can go ahead and pull the cheek piece off in order to run your rod through. But if you order a long enough rod, and like I've mentioned before on our show, um, you want to make sure you get the longest bench cleaning rod you can get. Uh, the rod can actually pass underneath the cheek rest here. So if you have a nice long cleaning rod and say a 20 inch barreled rifle, then you may not even have to remove the cheek rest to clean. You can get it through. Now, since it has this nice cutout in this area here, we can still release the bolt and get the bolt out of the rifle without removing the cheek rest. Now, obviously, if you have a long action rifle, you may not be able to do that. Um, this cheek rest also is not rifle specific. It's not stock specific. So you have a whole lot of options here. And if you need to switch it around on different rifles, you can. Now, in addition to the B24 model here, uh, Bradley Cheek Rest has also released the Bradley Adjustable. Now the Bradley Adjustable here has four different height options and it will fit a very wide range of rifle systems. And it just uses what are commonly called Chicago screws and washers to hold the two pieces together. So you can just remove those screws, raise the cheek rest up to wherever you need it and put the screws back through. Now the disadvantage of the adjustable model is it does end up being a little bit thicker 
than the fixed model. But if you're not sure what your height is or you need to move things around and be able to set it up on varying different rifles, then the adjustable may be the way to go. Uh, when you get the cheek rest, they come in this really nifty uh, burlap sack with the B stenciled on the outside of it. I just thought that was kind of a neat way to package it. Uh, overall, the Bradley cheek rest is a very good option for building up your comb if you don't want to go with the external storage and you really want a nice firm cheek weld that as closely simulates a bare stock as possible. And also, if for some reason you do want storage, you can always throw a stock pack on over top of one of these cheek pieces and still get the best of both worlds. Uh, it's far and beyond the old foam and rigorous tape solution. It's a very, very good option for those of you guys that need to build up your comb. We'll leave a link in the description below on how to get to Bradley Cheekrest and order your own. Uh, if you give them a holler, let them know that we sent you. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them in the description section below or send them to us on Facebook or Twitter. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. It shows manufacturers how many of you guys are watching our videos on a regular basis and helps us get more products to review. So. If you would, please click that subscriber link. And until next time, get out and shoot!